What's happening, everybody? It's Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Ball Sports Network. Thank you guys for the continued support. Continue to hit the like, share, subscribe, thumbs up button. Now, the Milwaukee Bucks are down 0-3 to the Miami Heat. And what the hell is wrong with the Bucks? Giannis, our MVP, our Defensive Player of the Year. Just null and void in this game. Uh, 0 for 7 from 3. Jimmy Butler eating his lunch, whether he's guarding them or he's giving them buckets. Butler, I think, had 17 points in the fourth quarter. And the Heat just, they outscored Milwaukee. I think it was 40 to 13, 40 to 17, something like that, in the fourth quarter alone to win this game. With 10 minutes left in this game, let me let me paint this picture for the guys, for the people who didn't watch the game. 10 minutes left in this game, Miami was up, I mean not Miami, Milwaukee was up 11 points. And the Bucks just decided to mail it in. Now, here's here's something interesting, that, I, that a theory that's been floating around that I'm, I'm starting to kind of agree with. And, and at first I didn't want to, I didn't want to take it there, but, you know, now I got to. So Milwaukee. We obviously know they're struggling in this series. They're they're about to get swept is what it looks like. They're, they're not playing inspired basketball. And they haven't played great basketball since when? Since the boycott. Since the shooting of Jacob Blake. Now, they finished their series against Orlando, but they were clearly way better than Orlando. They're just more talented. They just had a way better team. But it looks like since the start of this series, are they having a boycott hangover? Now, we do know Jacob Blake was shot in Wisconsin, in Kenosha, Wisconsin. And we know the Bucks took on the weight of the NBA and the sports world by starting this boycott. Remember, they started the boycott, but didn't tell the rest of the teams. They did it on their own. They did it themselves. So we know that that took place. So is it possible that the Bucks are having a boycott hangover? Is it possible that George Hill meant what he said when he didn't want to play basketball? Because he sure in the hell is playing like it. This is, I mean, it's interesting, man, because the Heat look like they want to be there. The Heat look like they want to be in the bubble. They look like they want to play basketball. They look like they want to go to the NBA Finals or the Eastern Conference Finals in this case. And Milwaukee doesn't. Milwaukee looks like they want to go home. Milwaukee looks like they want uh, Giannis to accept his MVP award. <laughs> In his own house, in his driveway, uh, back in Milwaukee, because they're not playing good basketball. And now, a lot of people are talking about, you know, whether Giannis is a Pippin or a Jordan or whether he has, you know, some folks believe he just doesn't have his own Pippin. That's true. There isn't another great player on Milwaukee. There isn't. But Giannis is not a playoff player. The same smoke. We give James Harden when he doesn't show up in the playoffs or Russell Westbrook or, you know, all Paul George. We got to give it to Giannis. For some reason, he seems to escape. He escapes all the smoke. Well, now you get it because you are two-time MVP, a defensive player of the year. And you about to get swept in the second round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. Remember, the same East that LeBron James dominated. Everybody told me LeBron James was just too good to be in the East. He could never do that stuff in the West. And he goes to the final. Anybody could go to the finals eight straight years in the East. And Giannis can't even get out the second round. <laughs> He couldn't beat Kawhi in Toronto last year, and he looks like he's about to get swept by Jimmy Butler and a bunch of kids. Ben Matabayo is a kid. He's 20 years old. I don't even know if he can drink yet. He's the second year in the league. Tyler Hero's a kid. Kendrick Nunn is a kid. Now, Goran Dragic is a really good veteran. You know, Andre Godala is a veteran. I mean, he got some veterans in there. Jay Crowder, some guys that make some big shots and some veterans, but they led by a pit bull in Jimmy Butler. And Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks look like they're having a boycott hangover. It looks like they, when when the boycott happened, they just forgot how to play basketball. You know, obviously they finished Orlando, but Orlando is nothing. They ain't had the best player. Aaron Gordon wasn't even play it. They play a real team, and, and they just forgot, you know, like the Monstars came and took their powers away, and they can't play basketball anymore. So the fact that they're having a boycott hangover, it's like, what's next for Milwaukee? A lot of people are like, oh, Giannis is going to leave, and, and he probably will. I mean, you get swept out second round. What the hell is there to stay for? I mean, Chris Middleton's locked under contract, under a $180 million contract. <laughs> so get me up out of there. But at the same time, we need to give Giannis that same energy we give our other great players. He's not getting the job done. Yeah, his numbers are good, but they're not winning. 
They'll win a whole bunch of regular season games. They lead the NBA in defensive efficiency and offensive efficiency during a regular season. But in the playoffs, this man folds like a lawn chair. And the fact that he can't shoot hinders them. And the fact that Jimmy Butler, a guy that maybe not, some people wouldn't even put in their top 15 players in the NBA, maybe not even their top 20 players in the NBA, is out playing him, especially in the fourth quarter. That's sad. And this boycott hangover, and I hate to say it, but... You can't use the boycott as an excuse. You can't use the shooting of Jacob Blake as an excuse. You can't use Black Lives Matter as an excuse. This cannot be an excuse for Milwaukee to be down 0-3 to the Heat. Because guess what? There's heat, there's players on the Heat that are black too. <laughs> they black, they just as black as Milwaukee. <laughs> so Black Lives Matter, Jacob Blake shooting, uh boycotts, those can't be an excuse. And right now it looks like they're having some sort of boycott hangover, some sort of Black Lives Matter hangover, and it's ugly and it's it's about to get them swept out the playoffs. They look like they don't even want to play basketball anymore. You let me know. Are the Bucks having a boycott slash Black Lives Matter hangover right now against the Miami Heat? Once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. with the Ball Sports Network. Thank you guys for the continued support. Continue to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, comment down below what you think. And we'll see you next time.